Well, that trip was a bust. I forgot the new lawn tractor. It doesn't have a separate choke cable. It uses one of them stupid systems where all the way full throttle is choked. So that's not gonna fucking work. So I'm gonna have to just modify it, make my own or some shit. Extend the cable out and cut a new thing. It's every human voice. Crank the AC up for a minute. Oh, that's nice. Oh, fuck. Dad's buddy just stopped by. Thought Dad was home. He's gonna stop by for a beer, but that's not awesome. He's asked me all about my truck. I'm like, why don't you just come over and see the damn thing? He's there and nobody's here. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. We're probably gonna have a couple beer or something. My fucking booze is all fucking piss warm. This warm cooler is cool. Get some ice or something. I don't like putting ice in drinks though because it waters them down. It's alright in like juice. Sometimes it pops, fountain pops already. Ah, fuck, I don't know what was eating me if it was mosquitoes or fucking fleas or something, but I had all kinds of bites around my ankles. It scraped too, I think I just did it recently. Exactly sure how. Yeah. Well, that happened to be there on Friday at work. Uh, I was working away. I looked on the floor and fuck, there's a drop of blood. I wonder what that was from. Fuck, there's another one. Fuck, that's got to be for me because nobody else is working right here. Fuck it. What the fuck? Like, am I bleeding? Where am I bleeding from? So, uh, Myself. Fuck, I couldn't see him blood coming from anywhere. So this is kind of fucked up. Oh, even went to one of my co workers. You know, I was like, you know, like leading them down my elbows and went down everywhere I can't really see. Down there or something like that. He's like, no, no, you're good. What the fuck is going on here? Where's this blood come from somewhere? Like, it just doesn't magically appear up nowhere, right? So, uh, sure enough, I can uh, keep looking, keep looking. It's a little nick. Yeah, you can probably see that. Look at my finger there. It's a fucking bleeder. And it's dripping right off the tip of my finger, and I just never saw it drip, I guess. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. That little fuck cut. But you never. When you're a guy like me, you just don't notice that shit. I've cut my arm like a fucking big cut like that long. Fuck of blood all pouring down the side of my arm. I remember one day I was walking along when I worked in town. And that was an old office building. A big office building, you know, a lot of people around. So uh, I was walking along and this person was like, oh my god, are you okay? And I'm like, uh, yeah, what? Like, you're bleeding awful bad there. Bleeding? Where? Right there in your arm, look. Holy shit. Big old gash in my arm. It's like, you know, something I must have rubbed up against some sharp sheet metal. Sheet metal. Sheet metal. Ah, sheet metal. But, uh, yeah, I must have, I could, It was just a very, it was deep enough it was bleeding pretty good, but it was a very fine slice, you know, very precision cut, very sharp, whatever cut it, but, uh, you know what, it didn't fucking hurt a bit, I didn't know what happened, and all of a sudden, fucking, here I am, fucking, walking down the thing, and I got blood dripping off, and, like, I actually literally had blood, you know, it was cut right around here, and I had blood that was poured down my arm, and then dripping, and I actually left a few drops. But I couldn't, I don't know why, I was surprised I didn't feel it actually. Usually if I put something on my hair like that, I don't feel it. But could have been just I was, you know, hot and sweaty. And that was quite common. If I'm hot and sweaty enough, you know, I ain't gonna notice a few drips of blood. And I have sweat pouring all over my body. It's pretty much the same thing. Some hot liquid running down, you know, you don't really notice. 
can't tell the texture of it. What's wrong with that, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Think back of that. Back in them days, well, still happens. Back in them days, something keeps happening. Will keep happening, I'm sure. Probably be worse when I get older. I know I see my old man do it a lot. He doesn't have a good effect. Oh, if I can bash his head pretty good, I can split his head open, slip and fall or something. Split his head open, and I can laugh it, laugh his ass off about it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Only time will tell me that. But, uh, anyways, the adventure for the choke cable has uh, ended. I'm almost home and probably about to consume some alcoholic beverages of some sort. So, uh, I think this is the end of this video. And I will bid you adieu. And, oh, I'm going to have to do some crazy maneuver here. Needs power steering when you got arms of steel. What up? Here we go again. Oh, yeah. Still on lunch break. Uh, you might be able to notice right there behind me, kind of there. It's a, a coach that's been on the back of my truck almost all week. Anyways, uh, ow. Oh, that really hurt. I hit my, I was taking my steering wheel down and I hit the edge of the buckle on the steering wheel, jammed into my hand. The edge there kind of hurts. A motherfucker, ow! Anyways, uh, yeah, so it's a beautiful fucking day. Hot as fucking balls. Planes are crashing. It's a helicopter, right? I'd film it, but by the time I get you guys on the screen, you won't even see it. We're not doing flyovers. Oh, somebody else is filming it. <laughs> oh, they ain't doing flyers, they're going way too fast. They're not stopping. It's a little early for that, anyways. Assume the dope choppers will be out though, and we'll be looking for the dope. Hopefully not, but probably. Oh, I'm fucking hungry. People are ignorant. They take the time to wave. I think they take the time to wave back. Especially when they know me. They talk to me. I don't fuck. I don't really care, I mean. Most of the people that do that are fucking douchebags anyways, but it's still been nice. Why I bother waving points, but whatever. Fuck it. But yeah, like I said, uh, just on lunch break. I had to run, drop this fuck coach off. I've been trying here for uh, a couple weeks, or a week now. To you didn't actually get it off the truck. But I gotta go mow tonight. I got uh, three other ones I gotta get mowed tonight, hopefully. At least two of them I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to bang off all three as soon as I can. And then uh, that'll be gold. But I can't get the lawn tractor on the back of the truck when I got a big fucking coach there. So I had to drop that off. The old man's place, I guess. See if he's there, if he is, say hi. For a minute, anyways. Whoa! Fucking slow down there, fucking champ! Holy fuck! The mechanic almost fucking blew through the stop sign and got himself T bone. Would have made my day. Got me a new truck. I would have just wanted to check. So fuck the truck. I got another truck. This thing, considering due to fair assessment value, it's actually worth like sixteen or two thousand, sixteen hundred or two thousand dollars or something. 
according to them fuckers. I hope you can hear me alright, I got the windows down, it's too fucking hot. I didn't want to run the AC. So fuck it, can't take a joke. <sighs> fucking hot. I ain't complaining, I ain't complaining. I like the heat, I really do. It's just I'm not used to it. The heat is nice too, it's the humidity that gets me. Like last week I was sweating like a fucking stuck pig. It's so fucking humid. Not now. Ah, I was gonna burn her for you, but she didn't want to burn. That couch is too much for her. It's too much weight. She just don't want to burn. I could have done it if I tried a little harder. Wish I had the money for something like that. I've never bought one, but I wish I had the money for it. Then again, I don't need a lot of money. It's uh, being pretty good today. I guess you don't want to. I don't have to zoom right down here. I don't have cleavage for you to see. So. Well, none that you'd want to see, anyways. Yeah, cleavage is not very appealing. But, uh, dump this off. I'll probably. Worst case scenario, I'll burn it, but I'll probably just wait a couple months in October there, it's large garbage, I'll let them haul it away. Because that's what I pay the tax dollars for. Back here. Uh, but he must be back in his woodlot again today. There's tractor tracks. They're not mine. Man, there's a belt back there. That's cool. Oh yeah, I'm not used to this kind of heat. I'm not complaining like I said, but it's different. If I had a pair of shorts on, I wouldn't be bad at all. He is home, so he's here somewhere. My old man, that is. Steering, I gotta make a hundred point turns here. I guess I should turn the camera off. You think I just run a marathon by the way I'm sweating. I didn't all I did was offload that coach. You can make probably tell they're behind me. Right there. You can't see that brown anymore. So that was good. Just shoot the shit with the old man. His back's a little sorry piled up two cord of wood the last couple days. His friends. Big surprise. If I could do if I could pile two cord of wood when I'm his age, which is 67, in a day or two, I just feel a little sore. I'm doing pretty fucking good considering I can't do that now. <laughs> well, I can, but I feel sore. Fuck, it's hard not to pile two cord of wood or feel sore after piling two cord of wood. Easy now. the shit out of you guys. I hope I had it on when I came through. I don't think I did earlier. I'm sorry if the dinging was going. I just don't hear it. I 
block it out. I'm tempted to they never take their boat out. It's nice to see it out for a change. But uh, yeah. I don't know what I was talking about, boys, sorry. Lost my train of thought. Some marshal pushing me off the road. I hate when people do that. To tell you, oh, more important than you. Get out of my way. They just like fucking plow you over. Sorry, I'm like mumbling to myself and you guys can't even see what the fuck I'm talking about. I just seen a motorbike off in the distance. Looks like the dude wasn't wearing a helmet. Nice, yeah, just stand in the road. Fucking stand on the middle lane while car cars are coming and take a fucking picture. <laughs> Get him, Roscoe. Pictures. Let me get pictures. I'm in the middle of the road. I'll take 30 pictures in the middle of the road. The vehicles are coming. Make them move because I, I can't get my 30 pictures without, without stopping traffic. Not that I'm in a huge rush. I mean, I just gotta go home and eat before I go back to work for a couple of hours. Which, you know, I'm not obviously looking. Oh, really? For me too. No. I tried to talk myself into going to the store. Cause I really could use a drink, but I got drinks at home. Oh, that truck's twisted. Fuck the bumper on it. Sag right over on it, so I was coming on to it. Maybe I can understand. It's a Chevy, so it's probably just a busted frame. I mean, that's what happens. You fucking sneeze on a Chevy, you know what? <laughs> the fucking frame rotted up and fell I mean, you know, hell, they put inserts in them now. They can replace the parts of the frame that rotted up. Not that any other brand's any really better. I mean, you know, fucking, I don't know how Apple Dodge Dodge is any better. I gotta say, today I was under a 1990. It was a four-wheel drive. It actually still had frame under it. Didn't have much left of it. I mean, if you start poking, I'm sure you would have found holes. Well, there wasn't much left of the floor at all. But it was intact, which was surprising. Considering, I've seen a lot worse. I've seen 04 and 05. Chevys, like avalanches, and 1500 work trucks, whatnot that, you know, you can put your fist through the fucking frame, but that's not surprising because I've heard mechanics say, I'll believe it, the worst run of trucks was from 96, well 97, 2005, what I've seen is the right, that that time period they tended to use the cheapest, thinnest body metals available and frame metals, I should say, frame and body metal that they could. And after seeing, before they were even done their production lines, how shitty, how shitty all that was, they changed, they actually swapped back and went to a heavier, a heavier one. And this isn't just one manufacturer, they all did it. Ford, Chevy, and Dodge all did it. But I'm pretty sure they just figured they could get away with that. Cheapen out a little more, but quickly realized that, oh, no, we can't do that because if we do, we're fucked. And that's what happened. 
Oops. The dog's buoy is right. Right where I need to fucking go. And yes, if you think you heard me laying rubber in my driveway, you just did. Be careful. I don't want to run into the lawn tractor. Ran into the fucking parking bench, or park bench yesterday and broke that. Hold on a second. Seem like a big job. In case you haven't noticed, I tend to make a lot of funny faces like all the time. Not just once in a while, but like constantly. That's what I do. Never fucking get this straight since my power steering fucked up. This is me off. It's tricky because I can't come over too far because I'll hit the fucking garage. Yeah, it's gonna be what it is. Oh, I thought, fuck, that must be annoying. 